a great day at 9A. I'm Nicole Malefa. I'm Brenda Vaccaro. Nice to see all <laughs> yes, of you. Yes, you are. You voice. sound like it, for sure. <laughs> my voice just keeps mm, getting deeper. I know. Well, you've had a very busy week. It's it been started intense. awful on Monday with the weather. It's ending awful on this Friday with the weather. And speaking of the weather, <laughs> we're standing by Melissa, meteorologist Melissa Cole, kind enough to join me this morning. Melissa, it's nice to see you. Hey, what is Melissa. going on now? I feel like I've lived here this week. Guys. I know. I, I, <laughs> you were this both. week and then in the last year. What a mess out there, guys. I mean, the good news is we do not have any warnings right now. No flash flood warnings or severe thunderstorm warnings, but these are strong thunderstorms. We are talking about a lot of intense lightning and very heavy rainfall. And look at this loop over the last 30 minutes. These storms just exploded over central Connecticut. So if you live in New Britain right now, you are seeing some heavy rain. Rocky Hill outside the station, it's been absolutely pouring. Glastonbury, you're next. Bristol getting hit. Waterbury, the storm is just leaving your neck of the woods. So Hartford just in the beginning right now. Farmington, West Hartford, definitely uh, keep an eye on the radar here. You guys are next. I know my daughter's a camp counselor in West Hartford. I just sent her a picture of the radar to get those kids inside. You can see in Stratford, Milford, uh, over towards Silver Beach, Morris Cove. This is a strong storm over Long Island Sound that's moving in your general direction and checking out the Danbury area. You guys are getting hit, and this whole line is going to be moving off to um, the north and east. So if you're not seeing rain just yet, you will be traveling along Route 9, 95, 84, all impacted. So plan for extra time to get to your destination. It appears that the storms will be worse within the next few hours. After 11 a.m., they get more scattered in nature. But you can see Waterbury, 67 degrees and downright pouring. So again, here's the batch of storminess over us right now. By 11, things start to improve a little bit. As we go through the midday and afternoon, we'll likely see more scattered downpours, not this widespread rain and thunderstorm activity that we're dealing with right now. And again, even this evening, we run the risk. So today, temperatures in the 80s, very humid, off and on at showers and downpours. And Scott, uh, Nicole will certainly pass along any warnings and uh, break into programming if they if the National Weather Service issues some warnings. Well, we appreciate that very much. You know, mm -hmm. you just you do such a good job, Melissa. Thank you. She really oh does. Gosh, thanks. You're you guys so are welcome. such a good team there in the weather department. <laughs> we got such, a good thing uh, going so on. I'm so grateful. <laughs> I'm so grateful to have the help this morning. So mm -hmm. I appreciate that so much. And she was helping us earlier this week, too. And Absolutely. we also did cut in, remember, yep. when if we have to, we will again today. Yep. All right, debris floating down the Connecticut River will probably cause some issues. Look at oh, that. Gosh, that, that was the dock that was floating down the river from Glastonbury. Unbelievable. That ended up in Niantic. Crazy. Um, but, you know, all of these floating debris and docks and what have you, they're causing some issues for at least a few more days here in Connecticut. Yeah, there's so much junk in the water. Madison banned swimming and boating at all three town beaches. The Coast Guard and Deep are monitoring the debris situation along the river. As it empties into the Long Island Sound, crews are starting to remove move it, though they will be soon, and several boats attached to a dock that broke free, which we were following all week in Glastonbury from the storms earlier this week, well, they've finally been recovered, which is some really good news for those boat owners. Oh, my gosh. I can't even imagine your boat just floating on down the river just without you driving it. Walk on Ooh. by. <laughs> and we have some incredible video you're taking a look at now of the storm that rolled through last night. So this is video from East Canaan that was sent in by Matthew Norton, and you could just see flash after flash of lightning. It was quite the show. When we were driving into work this yeah, morning. Yeah, it was really incredible. And some places across our state, the lightning actually made it look like the afternoon. That's how bright the sky was. Um, but it was so far away, you actually couldn't hear the thunder. Kim from Naugatuck sent this video, and the rain, mist, and fog making it almost a pinkish color with so much lightning. This is the kind of oh, weather wow. you do not want to be standing outside in. We appreciate all of you sending in what you're seeing, but your safety is, of course, our top priority. So always make sure you're in a safe environment while you capture what's going on. Mm -hmm. and Make sure to get that Channel 3 weather app. So helpful. We had all the alerts. And it tells you where lightning is striking near your town, too, Absolutely. which is very helpful. In, in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. It's so awesome. Lightning has been detected in your area. Yeah, three and a half miles away. Uh, thunder <laughs> is in your area. I'm like, who? I'm like, I, I feel like I have a partner again. It's, it's really amazing. All right, diet soda drinkers and zero sugar fans, listen up. A popular low-calorie sweetener could cause cancer. Yeah, the World Health Organization's cancer agency is labeling aspar aspartame. aspartame. Yeah. I don't know why I keep wanting to say aspartame. It's That's aspartame. Okay. 
aspartame, and they're labeling aspartame as a carcinogen. That's not good. No, not at all. NutraSweet and Equal are made from aspartame, and the World Health Organization officials are not changing their guidance on the use of the sweetener because they say it's still a safe sugar substitute when it's used in moderation. Now, so far, the FDA does not agree with calling it a carcinogen. I don't like the taste of aspartame, so I don't drink it. I don't. It's not in any of my drinks. I'd rather just drink the natural stuff with the, the regular sugar in it. Yeah, and you know, you and I are very lucky <coughs> in the sense that we don't have to depend on those sugar-free things. Yeah, but you're those like right. diabetics and you know who have who can literally not have sugar, um, this is kind of their alternative. But uh, it's it's also a chemical. So again, moderation. Yes, absolutely. Is key I learned two things today. What'd you learn? WHO is the World Health, Health Organization, Organization yeah. and Melissa Cole's daughter is a camp counselor. Oh, wow, well, that's really go. cool. Right. <laughs> is that for him and Diet Coke? Because I love Diet Coke. Yeah, yeah I think it's for him is in Diet Coke, yeah, Melissa. I'm going to have to check that out. Sorry. Womp womp. Uh, another womp womp story. Hollywood is now facing a work stoppage that could literally impact the industry for years. SAG after the union representing actors is now on strike. They're now joining writers on the picket lines. This means essentially all TV shows and movies will be on hold. The cast of Oppenheimer walked out on the film's London premiere once the strike was announced. Union Union members are pushing studios for better pay, higher residuals for streaming content, and protections surrounding the use of artificial intelligence. This is so interesting because the artificial intelligence component was listed as one of the things, but it really has taken center stage. Uh, they were saying that they're worried that the studios will basically own the likeness and the images and the voices of even the extras, which means they can put them in any movie that they want. Isn't that incredible? Isn't that creepy? It's completely creepy Ooh. and completely incredible. And what's more of information is the nanny is running the whole show. I know, Fran, Fran Drescher. Drescher. Uh, do you? She's the president. Do it. Oh, my God, Mr. Sheffield. Uh. <laughs> and you know what's even more crazier? <laughs> When, I, when I'm sick, it sounds even better. But um, what's even more crazier is the actors and the writers have not been on strike together since 1960. 1960. Yeah, you were telling so me that earlier. this is pretty monumental. Yeah, so we're going to have to wait and see what happens. Yeah, but uh, all of those movie premieres, but, like Barbie next week, bar, and they're not going to be there. Yeah. Unless it ends. So. What? I know. We'll see. I'm a Barbie girl. I want to see that movie. <laughs> you have to roll out your own red carpet. Exactly. <laughs> All right, after these rain issues, flooding, and even the strike news in Hollywood, it feels like a good time for a vacation. Oh, what a coincidence, because I'm actually going to be gone next week. Why you? I oughta. <laughs> and Emmy's getting us all ready for some time off. Check this out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she is ready. She's ready to just relax. That is so awesome. That is so That's awesome. That's what she does after she takes a sip of every single drink. It's Seriously. hysterical. Bottle does, anything. She, does, does Andrew do that? Or um, no, it? no. But her babysitter taught her, her babysitter that. Her babysitter taught her And how it has stuck ever since. So okay. thank you, Cindy. That is fantastic. <laughs> Emmy, that's an Emmy Award winning video. That is. I know. My brother said the only Emmy I'll ever win is that one. Don't <laughs> say that. That's his family joke. That's very funny. All right.